All right, good evening, everyone, everyone, and hopefully everyone's doing well. My name is Scar Navarro. I am drama, drama king. Life is drama. Drama is life. Where I talk about drama, telenovelas, and even some real life drama without becoming a T channel. Anyway, I hope everyone's staying safe, and hopefully everyone is taking care of themselves, especially fighting the good fight, and you know, just standing together and being united, especially during moments like this. And hey, you know. Protest, sign petitions, donated to numerous causes to Black Lives Matter and NAACP, and just even educating yourselves and just being an ally and also being someone who can learn and grow, but also help out and standing strong with the, with everyone, especially at the moments like this and. Right now, especially with the whole situation going on, and all we can do is just create a new reform and a new and a future for 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 our children and future generations to come. All right. So far, um, there's two dramas that I did finish. One of them is I don't want to be friends with you, and even though the ending was all right, but at the end of the day, I really did like this drama a lot. And it's definitely worth watching, and definitely the acting is really good. And and at the end of the day, though, I really did enjoy it. I'm gonna give it a nine point five. And another drama that has also been finished is Kidnapping Game, which it's part of um, this twelve series web dramas um, that Aichi is putting out over the summer. And I see, I've already seen twelve episodes, and at the end of the day, though, it was really good. The acting and everything like that, and it's pretty interesting so far and I'm gonna give it a nine um in which one I really hope that it's on Vicky I watched it on a different site called Dugoku in which one um I'm just gonna check it out and um you know see if it's good or not or if I can recommend it but but just you know trying it safely and doing the best as possible and this week um another drama is gonna be aired which is love um Love a Lifetime, Love a Lifetime, which starts Alan Ren and Zhang Hui Wen. And it definitely talks and hopefully it's really good and definitely it's also something that everyone can watch. And a drama that I've been watching on YouTube and seems pretty good so far is Love in Between. And it has Gala Jang and Zhang Ya Chin and it's a pretty good drama so far. It's pretty good so far and it's only 12 episodes. And I haven't seen We Are All Alone yet, um, but um, I'll let you guys know about it. And so far, I've heard that's really good and it's gone a really good reception. And I know Trident's about to end soon, and it's a really good drama so far, and I definitely enjoyed it. And then there's another drama that um, that's gonna be coming out. There's a few dramas that are going to be coming out at around this month, basically around the end. One of them um, is going to start Zhang Yishan and Pan Yuan Ming. And then there's another drama starring Pan Yuan Ming, which the leads are Chen Jianbin and Li Tong. And it's going to talk about a relationship that has age differences, which I already found out, which I'm going to um, see how, how, where, how these dramas go. And I like Li Tong as well. She's a really good actress. And I really wish her all the best for her future projects. And Chen Jianbin is a really great actor. And it seems like definitely Pan Yomin is definitely becoming more and more ever since day and night. Which is a great drama and everybody needs to watch it. And I'm definitely going to look for missing persons and, and um, give you guys my opinion of it. And then I'm going to do a mid-drama review. And then let you guys know which dramas that I like. Which I, I didn't like up this, this year, and um, I'm gonna do a one to ten rating scale, in which one I'm gonna rate it from one, which is bad, or ten, which is good. It's gonna be the dramas that I've seen so far and that I've heard so far, and you know that I tried out, and I'll let you all know um, how it goes. And then, um, and then June twenty second, it's not gonna be. It's gonna be the week after. Um, and Emigo Intimo Season 2 is going to be airing. 
which one I really like the first season a lot and it's really good and definitely worth watching um give it a chance though even though even if you're not a fan of the medical series series but it, if it's a really good if it's really good it's really good and also El Capo is going to be is on Estrella TV already and I already seen El Capo a few years ago and I really, really liked it so it's my Marlon Moreno who's also in um, La Venganza de Analia so really good production from Colombia from years ago and they definitely have really great telenovelas and a drama that I've been a telenovela that I've also been looking at so far is Betty La Fea and the original the the original one and it's it's a classic and definitely in the hearts of many people and you know what many years later after watching the Mexican version I'm like no version can be unmatched and and definitely it's not, even though it's been a year since the creator has passed away but it's a really great telenovela and please check it out and if if y'all haven't heard of Betty La Fea that means you've been living under a rock but please watch it please give it a chance especially for today's generation I know recently Telemundo has put it Betty in New York which is which is all right which is all right but but definitely it's a much more modern 29 2020 um modern take of of, of, of Betty La Fea but I really like the telenovela a lot and I've already seen even the American version Ugly Betty which it was pretty good as well but but definitely check it out and it's also aired on um on Azteca in Mexico Azteca um I think maybe Azteca 3 or Azteca 1 in Mexico and another telenovela that I've been wanting to watch I'm gonna look out for it's La Bandida with Sandra, Sandra Cheveria and who was recently in last year's La Surpadora and then um there's another telenovela that TV Azteca did a few um two years three years back called Desaparecida and I'm gonna check that out and see if it's good or not and then so far it seems like um Televisa they're gonna be starting to film um La Mexicana y el Güero I think they're already starting it already which is a remake of a Chilean telenovela in 2006 called Complices and also um it seems like the the producer who produced last year's La Superdome Turner Telenovela which is gonna start with Gabriel Soto and we all know with the whole Irina Laeva mess and child we're also gonna have Ana Lajeska which was a really great actress and Alejandro de la Madrid and oof alright and also um and also there hasn't been a word of Imperio de Mentiras and both um the telenovelas are gonna be proposed um by the same producer who produced La Superdora and the one telenovela that's been produced from Cuna de Lobos last year um, they're going to be based on two Turkish telenovelas. Levena, and um, it seems like Amor Eterno and Univision is going to be end ending already. And um, Senet is also in Telemundo as well. And Turkish telenovelas are definitely taking over the world. And the Turkish telenovela that I liked the most was El Sul the Sultan. And I definitely liked the, the whole history and especially during the Ottoman Empire. And if you guys haven't watched it, give, please give it a chance. And even... And if for those who um, want to hear it from the original language, which is Turkish, and try to see if you can find subtitles either in English, Spanish, or whatever language that you're comfortable comfortable with. And also, so far, um, I'm gonna talk about real life drama so far. And it seems like Jenny sixty nine has been getting canceled more and more and more. And it seems like a lot of people cannot stand her anymore, especially with her questionable parenting skills and the fact that she takes appropriation from the black community and just appropriating black culture and not even respecting Mexican culture as well and it seems like she's just yeah but definitely um if you guys want to learn about all the crazy things that she's done please check out Dama Venenosa and which one she does talk about it and if there's also another video um, that I've seen about it, but about um, the things Jenny sixteen nine did, and just all the things she just got called out for. And I don't know his name, but um, by definitely learning, I definitely just realized, you know what? 
she ain't worth it. I'm like, you know what? Even though, like, she's gotten herself in hot water, but... At the end of the day, though, sometimes... Everything on the internet is going to be positive forever, and... And it's really sad, because I also have autism myself about the way she treats her son. And it seems like she has no interest in him at all, and... Even though I'm not... I don't know Jenny 16 I like that, or anything like that, because one... One, even though, like, I don't have that much money in her... As her, but at the end of the day, though, at least I have some. At least I rather use my brain because at the end of the day, though, not all money is good money, and it seems like um, her and her husband are not interested in each other at all, and like that's really sad. And there's a video where, like, it seems like the the son that she, where it seems like her son wasn't buckled in properly, and she's still doing makeup and. And even there's also um, a nerdy video in which one Dama talks about, and just the recent video which Dama talks about. Um, in which one, um, she said um, to her husband, what would you do to, what would you do to, to him? I'd kick his ass, something like that. And I'm like, well... And especially for someone who does have autism like myself, it offends me. It really is like... I'm like, are you serious? What is wrong with these people? I'm like... Hmm. It just irks me and just... Pisses me off in many ways, but um... Yeah, it's sad. But, yeah, I've also seen a video, um, in which one, a fan, um, went to this show called the How to Maquillarse show, and, and I'm like, it's just her doing her makeup, I'm like, instead of, like, you know, giving makeup tips, and, you know, I wasn't there, I didn't have the money at the time, but, but it seems like all the things she's done, and all the things she does for Cloud, and just seeing that. I'm not a role model, I'm a human, and also the reason why I can't post, the reason why I don't stand with Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, I'm like... Yeah. But if she wants to do that, that's her own issue, but... If she wants to support 45, that's her issue, because one, I hate 45, and I really hope we can vote him out in November, because at this point... Just with all the antics he's done and and the fact that he just goes against our commu all of our communities and what we stand for just realizes what we um what we as people are just tired of. And also this week also um Friday marked four years since the post shooting and the lives who were taken from were taken from the shooting and from those who survived and hey we really have to stick together and we really have to keep ourselves united and just keep fighting the good fight all right anyway um i'm gonna see if i can post a Carla, another Carla Luna video probably around next week i'm gonna talk about gustavo adolfo infante next week which one it seems like they're getting their ass He's getting his ass called in. He, I'm glad he's getting his ass whooped by the public. And it seems like he just chooses to defend the indefensible. But but it's like, yeah, I'm going to see if I can do a video. I'm going to do it in Spanish, which one um, probably around this week. And I'm going to see if I can do a second, a third part of um, not selling from seasons 8 to 10. In which one I'll talk about that a little more. And um, I'm glad that they're, just, they're getting views. And just showing it to those who are fans of Not Landing. And then um, if there's any other, other videos that you want me to do or talk about. Please let me know. And if there's anything that, that you may not agree with. Or if there's anything that. That you know that you like or dislike. Just Please leave your comment down below, like or dislike, and 
just, um, just, you know, I'm always open to opinions, I'm all, both good and bad, and, hey, and if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know, and you know what, I own, I'll own up to it. Alright guys, and also shout out to Sergio Secrets, who, who has, who has a really great channel, and definitely, it's, um, it's all about fashion, but, um, but he does it in a way that, in which one you learn about prices, and just, you go with him on shopping trips, but also, like, also, he also did a video in which one, um, how he affords everything, and he's 19, but he definitely is, has shown lots of positivity, and he's someone that shows a lot of love, and definitely, um, just be on the lookout, and I definitely recommend this channel, shout out to him, shout out to Manu Diaz, in which one, um, he does, he talks about telenovelas, and it's in Spanish though, but please, um, but he really educates you about so many things, not just Mexican telenovelas, but all telenovelas in general, and he gives re really good reviews and outputs, and even um, talking about different all the adaptations of certain telenovelas, and definitely, definitely go on his channel. And also, um, Dama de Nenosa, which one I love her, I've always been her fan since the beginning, even if you do agree or don't agree with her, but definitely it's someone that you definitely want to enjoy some cheese mess, some good tea and definitely shout outs to them and also to Black Feminine TV which when I saw a video about how fashion all the scams people and how the quality is really crap and definitely watch her video watch Black Feminine TV and definitely it's worth it and support black owned businesses and and let's just support our communities and let's keep fighting the good fight the best way as possible all right, um, have a great evening, and please take good care of yourself, and stay safe, and just make sure, um, if you are feeling that you're developing symptoms, please get testing, please take good care of yourselves, and stay strong, because when we will get through it, though, and it always takes time to adjust with the new normal, and all we can just stay together no matter what, even though states are opening are already reopening, especially here in California, which one I'm not feeling like, I'm like questioning it because one, um, one, I don't want something bad to happen to people that I care about, especially my parents, and just, you know, just making sure that you're all safe, and just make sure to take good care of yourself, and just make sure to practice social distancing, make sure to always wear a mask no matter what, no matter what, no matter where you are, please make sure to wear a mask, please make sure to take really good care of yourself because when we're really in the middle of a pandemic we're really seeing a lot of rising in contagions and just hospitalizations and deaths and please make sure to take good care of yourselves because when your health must come first before anything all right take good care have a great evening and just stay safe and and we Stand together no matter what. And black lives definitely must matter and we must make sure to free make sure to support communities of color, immigrant communities, LGBTQIP and just low in, in communities that are low income and just support local businesses, especially black owned businesses and immigrant owned businesses. Alright, make sure to take care and stay safe.